And good afternoon. The National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning this afternoon. As we go to radar, this is going to be for Neshoba County. Uh, it will expire at 615, so we roughly have about 25 minutes remaining on this. As uh, we start zooming in on this, north of Philadelphia, if you follow this out, this is going to be right along in here, Burnside area. This storm is going to be affecting, uh, it's at Burnside now, it'll be at Sandtown by 620 this afternoon, and we'll make crossroads by 41 minutes, and right at 50 minutes, it'll make it down to Deweese in that area. As we look around here, we do have showers out around Pearl River Resort in those areas. Uh, we start seeing that Neshoba County Coliseum has pretty heavy rain around it all of downtown Philadelphia. And as we move out, this area out by Bloomfield has the most rain that is occurring right now in Neshoba County. We zoom in on that and uh, heavy showers there. We look at where this storm, the track is going to be. It will be at Deweese in 15 minutes and then move on into uh, Kemper County, Damascus, and Liberty area within the hour. If we'll back out, and I'll show you how these arrows will point across. As you see, it's coming across uh, Highway 495 here and 493 into Kemper County. Already some heavy showers around the coal plant. Another storm that is just right across the line there into Kemper County makes its way to Moscow and Damascus within about 15 minutes. So if you're anywhere on the northern part of 493, 495 in this area right in here, it's going to be some heavy rain in the next few minutes. We've got light rain that drifts down down here to about uh, where Talbot Enterprises is, and we go uh, back out west. It quits right across that line uh, as you go into Leak County, just some light, light showers. But most of Neshoba County getting a lot of heavy rain right now. And again, it's this, this eastern side of uh, Neshoba County. And I was trying to see if we had something else that uh, happened uh, some light showers approaching Rush Hospital, it says, uh, that's coming in. Uh, as we back out and do an overview, now just across that state line, uh, we've got East Mississippi Junior College. You go through the four-way stop there at Scuba and go past where Briggs used to be, and we start seeing light rain. And when you hit Highway 17, you cross that state line is when it's going to pick up in intensity all around Gainesville uh, area, Geiger, uh, light rain at Livingston. So, this is an update of what we've got now. Now, as we look at the storm that's there at 493 at the Kemper County Coal Plant, that's going to be at Blackwater within about 15 minutes and make it to Lauderdale within the hour. We'll watch this closely, uh, see if it holds together, and I'll be back with more updates as we continually watch this weather. Again, this severe thunderstorm warning for Neshoba County will expire at 615 this afternoon. As always, we'll keep you up to date with the very latest here at Scotty Ray's Weather.